So two of the main keys to the success of any company or business would be communication and organization. And the Google Calendar helps you achieve both of those. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Google Calendar. Now one of the main features of Google Calendar is the ability to create multiple calendars and share them with the different groups. So for instance, you could have a personal calendar for your own dates and what have you. You could create a calendar for each department within your company. And you could also have a company-wide calendar and assign access to it for every member of your company. So here's a quick view at the main screen of the Google Calendar. Here it's in the day view, so you're given a breakdown by hour. You can also choose to view it by week, month, a four-day look, or you can click the agenda tab. And what this does is it narrows down everything that's actually listed on your calendar and provides a nice organized list for you to view. So back to the day view, if you wanted to add an event, let's say for Wednesday, we would select the time slot, let's say between 6 and 7, and give your event a title. Furthermore, you can click Edit Event Details to add more specific information, such as location, uh, which calendar to apply it to, a further description. And you can also add an event reminder, so you can receive an email or a pop-up notifying you prior to the event that the event is ahead of you. So let's say we wanted to notify ourselves a day in advance about this event. We would select the email reminder and choose one day and click Save. So now 24 hours before this event occurs, Google Calendar will send us an email to remind us of the event. Now you can also increase or decrease the time slot simply by dragging the box here. And to delete an event, you just click on the event title and select delete. So that's a basic run through of how to add events to your calendar. And over here on the left, under my calendars, you can see we have multiple calendars. And to create a new one, just select create. And you're going to give the calendar a name and description. And when creating a calendar, you can choose to make a calendar public. Now, this pretty much makes it visible to everyone on the web. So you want to be careful with this option. To add additional people to share your calendar with, you can click the Add Person button and enter an email address. And when you're done creating the calendar, just click Create Calendar. And your new calendar will have been created. And you can assign this calendar a specific color. So in your view, when you are looking at multiple calendars, that calendar's events will appear in that color. So if we chose blue for accounting, all our accounting events would appear as blue. So let's add an event for accounting. And when viewing different calendars, you can choose to view a single calendar or add multiple calendars. Now under other calendars, you can actually add other members' calendars. So let's say your partnership company has created a calendar. Here you can actually add that calendar. You can add this calendar by URL um, pointing to an email address, or you can actually import a calendar. OK, and over here on the right, we have our tasks. Now, this is integrated into your Gmail as well. So if you have added tasks as a to-do list in your Gmail account, it will also appear on your same email account when logged into Google Calendar. So just like in Gmail, you can add a task. So let's pick a date, let's say Friday, and click the task option. And you can kind of add your to-do list here. Now, if we choose to highlight our tasks on our calendar, they will appear. Here's our stop by the store date. And much like in Gmail, they can be checked and crossed out as you complete those tasks. And the nice thing with tasks here is you can create task lists for individuals or groups of people. So let's say you wanted to give your accounting department a weekly task. You would simply create a new task list. and create your checklist of tasks. So if this was your accounting calendar, all accountants would see the tasks you've listed for completion, and you could monitor their progress. So this can really help you with project management as well by being able to assign and monitor the completion of individual tasks, as well as pointing out important dates to your employees. Finally, you can configure the appearance and display of your calendar, as well as the settings of individual calendars by clicking the settings option. 
And under the General tab, you'll see several different options. You can customize your language, country, time zone, the way dates and times are displayed. There's all kinds of options here that can help you get your calendar looking the way you want it to look and the way you want others to see it. Under the Calendars tab, you can choose to edit individual calendars. Here you can change the notification settings, the sharing settings, you can add and delete additional calendars, or you can subscribe to additional plugins such as the U.S. Holidays, for example, displays holidays on the calendar, such as Labor Day, Memorial Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas, etc. So as you can see, Google Calendar can provide a easy and highly customizable way to keep your business on track, on time, and organized.